normally when you get actors to work in your project, you need to go through an agency and that those agencies or agents will find professionals for you. They'll have a system, usually online these days. You probably need to have a very clear schedule that you tell the agency. That means when are you going to begin shooting, when's your deadline, how many days do you have for shooting, what are the different locations. So you need to have everything planned out, tell the agency, and then they can help figure out and get people to apply and audition. Here we have an example inside my studio where we had some actors come in, professional actors, and they were reading some scripts. So in this case, we're already done the video, so we're doing some audio. And here we have the audio technician, and then here we have the director who's in charge of directing the situation, and then here we have an assistant, a helper, who's lending a hand at whatever needs to be done. Of course, we have our actor. Here's our Here's our star, our actor, who's doing the reading. You can see he's got the script right in front of him that he's reading. Here we have the other example, my student who was doing a research project. She needed students to, she needed actors to pretend they were students waiting in line. So they're standing in front of a green screen, which is going to be replaced with a long line. And you can see they're pretending like they're looking at their phones or waiting. So she's telling them what to do. Act like you're waiting more. Act like you're bored. Act like you have a telephone call. Act like you're surfing the internet. Okay, so along these same lines, we need to prepare a script and a shooting schedule, which we've talked about in another lesson. So you can see here how different parts of what we learned before really fit together into the production. If you have a shooting schedule, you can see exactly what shot is now, what is an hour later, what's tomorrow, who's in the shot, what kind of setup do we need, what kind of angles, what kind of cameras do we need. It tells us everything right there. That's why you create that schedule shot by shot. I would suggest that you do not hand over production to an outside company. That means if your organization, like your school, your professor, your department, your company, if you have a project you want to make, it's very tempting to go to an outside company and say, give me something back. And it's kind of this idea. They'll give you something back, but it probably will end up not being what you want. And once you get something that's not what you want, or the quality is too low, you cannot go back and change it. So it's best to be highly engaged, to be really on top of all the details, to make the script yourself with your team and then hand it to the production company and then make sure you see step by step the stages they go through so that you can approve or give them feedback. The goal is not to be negative, the goal is to create the best outcome for you. And they will work with you, they'll be very cooperative. And so here we see our line example here again with our talent and we have our setup. And even though it was a kind of simple situation, we needed to have four or five different kinds of lines it ended up taking us all day to shoot it the way we wanted it. Okay, now we're at the hardware table, and today we're going to be looking at stuff for our talent. Now, some things we've already kind of looked at. For example, we looked at lights, specifically LED lights, a number of times. And remember, we even took these on location because they had to have batteries. But one thing they have that's very useful are these barn doors. So you can open these. And what do these do? They help you direct your light. So you can actually get a very little bit of light on an exact spot. Now why is that useful for your talent? Because it helps you to light your talent in just a special way that will help highlight them and make them look better. Try to pay attention to help your talent look as good as they can. You don't want to make them look bad because they won't be happy about it. That always causes trouble. So let's look at our table and see what else we've got. I think we've talked before about the light that can go on the front of the camera or that can go on the over the lens of the camera. And this kind of light very specifically will give you a nice highlight in the eyes of your talent. It'll light their face a little bit, 
it will especially give that ring or a little bit of dazzle in the eye. You've probably seen that on many YouTube videos, very popular, especially for young women who like to make makeup uh, videos. They want to have that kind of dazzle in their eyes, of course.